Hello, welcome to Ekidel. My name is Justice Unwaka. I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you a realistic structural design in Prota Structure. But before we start, I would like you to like this video and also if you are new on Ekidel, please consider subscribing. If you have not yet subscribed also, I would like you to do what? Subscribe. So right now, as you can see that this building here, this is basically um, the building we designed last two months and currently they are already on the construction stage and at the roof level. Okay. So right now, as you can see, this building is um, very special. That is why we brought it here to Ekidel to show you guys um, how this building was um, actually designed for and the features in this building. Basically, we are still on the process of um, trying to um, get or trying to get the permission from the clients to be able to use the CAD file to teach here on Ekidel, but we have not yet gotten the permission from the client uh, that we should be able to use the CAD file, the the CAD file to the public, right? But from but from the look of things, we believe that everything will like work out well, and in the nearest month, we will have to um, release the CAD file and then use it for the design of this building with you guys here on Ekidel, so that you you, are, you can also be able to um, learn how to design this building because this building basically has some special features and one of those features is that one as you can see that basically it has a basement which everyone knows to do i believe so because we have done much videos on basement design but if you look at this place here at this gallery right now this, this gallery here there is a cantilever gallery of about 3.25 meters as you can see then there on that pop-up there you can see that it is basically 3.25 meters right which is for this gallery and that's a cantilever and also if you also look at the internal part of this building here there is also a greater cantilever supporting a a a walkway if you can see that this is basically what a cantilever of what 3.314 meters okay which is also massive okay then also if we also look at let me just go by it now if you also look at this is the walkway that it is supporting all around this place are the walkway as you can see that then also if you also look at um this place too you can also see that there is basically a stairway and all that which has also a hand ray load on them as you can see how the stairway was modeled because basically this ground this floor right now which is the first floor now becomes the ground floor why the floor below here is the basement okay and basically on this building there is a tunnel that's going to lead all the way from the road from the access road into this um, into this building environment and then the um all the people that are going to use these facilities of the building are going to drive down and park their cars into this um basement here so basically this basement here is for car parks okay and if you look at it right now you can see that this is the entrance way and this is the exit way here okay now you can see let me just walk you through around into the basement okay so right now let, let's not enter into the basement before i'll now show you inside this building of the ground floor okay so from the basement now if you now walk into the basement now and then if i rotate now and walk again to the basement you can also see um how the basement is let me just walk in again and then rotate okay i know that so you can see the structural framing of this um building all right and the massive columns that we have basically is going to support um is supporting a steel roof all right and all that but what, but what we did was that we didn't model the steel roof with this structure we just have to put the load of the of the steel all right of those roof on the column as what as another load okay that's, that's what we did so you can see how the structural framing is here around the basement here and also one thing again that is um on this building is that it has a matte foundation as you can see that only matte foundations with additional extra reinforcement that is found within the columns okay that's fine so if we now go through the stairway here right now and i walk you through into the ground floor let me just go into the ground floor right now into the ground floor here all right from the stairway to the ground floor you'll be able to see how 
it looks like into this ground floor area basically this is an event center that's why you are seeing it massively open and there is no wall loads or block walls inside the building it's basically an event center all throughout the buildings it has up to three floor and um, three halls one at the ground floor as you can see that then also this is this place here is for and it is, it is a hall and the next one here is a hall and the final one here is a hall so basically is basically um purely an event center building okay that's fine then also if we now look at this other place here there is basically um this is basically a walkway as you can see that that is why there is um a there is um a handrail all around the walkway area you can see that you can be, um, basically walk around the building okay that's fine now let me now uh, we are still um we are currently making video on this building okay that's why you are seeing the model like this because else we have already done with the, with the design of this structure which we issued to to, um, to the client last um last three months ago thereabouts so right now if now now you can see let me now begin to um create the um the load because on this place here there is meant to be load around this place here okay now before i begin to create the load you can see how special this building is so basically if you want to get um access to some buildings like this i would advise you what join ekidel premium right now ekidel here on youtube ekidel has two um areas okay there is one here where i will post free videos and we have premium videos all right we are will put our our exclusive videos all right into the premium so i would advise you enroll for the premium either for the paid courses or the premium or you join our what mentorship is still here on what youtube so you can join the ekidel premium now when you join the ekidel premium you will be able to get exclusive videos like this because we don't post this on our regular channel here for free because it takes time to perform this design and all that so also the things you also benefit from that ekidel premium is that you will be able to have one-on-one -on -one interaction and chat with us let me say regarding your design if maybe you are doing the design and you have issues on your design you can quickly chat us up and then we can guide you on the design okay it's not really expensive you can see it just now and not that so that's how the premium is why for the paid course you will be able to only get um paid courses and you won't be able to um ask questions and all that let me say if you have issues on your design let me say you're doing the design because you enroll for the paid course or you paid for the paid course you won't be able to um do that so basically paid course are people that already have experience on this software okay and then they now want to do what did they now want to um just to watch all that okay now we are currently want to add another level again which is called high rise building okay so on that place that's where we are going to pay um post all our high rise building okay so basically currently now ekidel is, is going to have four membership okay one is paid course membership two is premium membership which is very very exclusive and very nice for everyone to join then the third one is high rise building okay high rise building what uh, membership and the last one is ekidel what mentorship ekidel men mentorship is people that want to do what to start from beginners to professionals okay because that is basically a one-on-one -on -one training and you have one-on-one -on -one, um training with our with what ekidel engineers using either zoom or microsoft teams or google meet okay where you have to have live training not really by you watching videos is a live training that's why ekidel mentorship is quite expensive compared to other membership okay that's fine so with this now let's now begin to add our loads here note that we have already done this design for the client and we have already issued out the drawings out to the clients and currently they are on the on the what construction stage and they are already at the roof level okay but since we are making this video currently for the premium members we are currently making this video for the premium members so i let me just show you guys how to um add um this some loads here 
that's fine so right now we are going to add um line load around the edge of this place here okay and also around the edge of this place here okay that's fine so with that now that then take me to my plan view here and on my plan view now the next thing i'll do is to do what activate my what grid lines my ghost axis too also and then come now and click on what on line load here line load here now on clicking on line load since the load basically is just for a handray so i'm going to use a load of what 1.5 as the handray because the handray is a lightweight what steel material and it doesn't have load more than this so with this now i will then begin to do what add my load here i'll click on this place now and then come here and then click on this place now when you're adding your line load, your line load is meant to be what slab by slab okay now i can see that we now have this here if we can check on the 3d view here you can see that we have already done what um added or uh, one of the line load here which is here can you see that can you see that so with this now we can begin to add the line load i can still work on this on this 3d view here by coming here and then uh choosing my line load and then putting my line load value 1.5 and i'll click on this now and then click on this that one here and that is fine so you can see that so but basically i like to work on the ground floor all right on the plan view okay and not on the 3d view here but let me just work with you that on the 3d view here and do the same thing here go again right now click here and then come here and then click here that's fine let me just okay that sorry on um de delete that all right there is meant to have uh, it's meant to stop here so from here right now all the way down here now currently we are going to have a live stream tomorrow the same time by 4 p.m tomorrow so if maybe you are um free you can join the live stream for the building which we are designing all right as you can see that we have started our live stream and I, and, I, and I gave you guys a promise that we are going to be streaming live every what weekend okay for the people that have been joining the live stream i believe they have been seeing the impact and all that so let me just come down and put this here that's fine so with this now you can see that we have now done what created what a line load here can you see that as i said that this is what a realistic design all right in what portal structure you can also see our windows here basically this building looks as if it was done with what either revit or archicad all right but basically this is what portal structure okay that's fine so again i will then come again right now and then also provide my uh, line load here also on this side by clicking here and clicking this side also and then continue again from here all the way down to here sorry I will need to uh, delete that and then make sure I click on the exact point. That's why I don't like working on 3D view when it comes to loading. But let me just do that right now. That's fine. So once you see, you see that warning, make sure you don't accept it. All right. Make sure you remove it and put it exactly right. That's fine. So with this again right now, I will then come again. So as I was saying again, we are going to be live on um, tomorrow. And then next week, being from 9th of April, we are ekidel is going to be two years old and so throughout that week from 9th of april till the 30th of april is our two years anniversary so that is our anniversary period and every year when we are having anniversary we basically give out discount so if you have been finding it difficult to join ekidel mentorship most people say it is expensive but what they don't consider is what they are going to learn by the end of the mentorship and how their life is going to change in terms of civil engineering or structural designs okay now if you look at the syllable of what you're going to learn you will see how massive it is basically that is why it is expensive because we, we take our time only not to teach you software but also teach you manual design by using principles and the guidelines so it takes time and it's not really that you're going to watch video you'll be able to ask live questions all right and you will give us the time that you are going to be free for the training and then we will have to meet up with you so that's why it's basically expensive and you know that when you are spending time on something basically cheap things are not that 
okay all right because if we give out it to be cheap that means that we might end up um not explaining in details for you because we are trying to beat what duration but in this case it's basically endless yes we gave out it there that is what that is six months um mentorship but basically truthfully is a lifetime mentorship because people that have already joined as a 2000 and, um 22 and 21 we are they are still currently in mentorship okay because basically if you have already joined our ekdl mentorship is a lifetime because maybe you are doing the design of 10 story building and then you have issues you can quickly reach us out and they will assist you on how to get your issues done okay this is wrong okay to get your issues done so you can see that it is basically a lifetime mentorship okay okay and then come here and then click here that's fine so make sure you don't see that error okay once you see the error make sure you don't do what accept it okay so right you can see that now we have now done what we have then um performed this perfectly here by adding what all our loading okay now uh, we have added the loads on this area can you see that and also the loads every loads are already been added up okay and everything so the next thing now to do is to now begin the structural analysis of this building but that will not be on this free ekidel um youtube channel that's gonna be on the premium members okay because they have um ask questions that we should perform a design of a cantilever that has at least 2.4 meters and above all right so with this now from that comment that was dropped last two months so when we had this um building project okay then we now use okay that that, that it would be nice for us to use this building to now teach on that comment because basically we make our videos here on ekidel based on the comments that we get okay and basically we use live projects okay live project because here on ekidel at least this nice god be with us we get massive projects all over the world every month okay and that is nice okay so because of that we don't say okay let's use this to now teach our premium members on this okay now for the people on the paid um, um paid course membership we have currently added a full complete um flat slab design without column drop okay so if you look at our free um videos you can see that we have posted some parts right but we stopped at some parts we stopped um at the modern area now we have currently added the complete video on the paid course all right on the paid course so people that are, that are on paid course you can quickly assess that and then watch those videos on that okay and the people on premium um videos that's already exclusive because any video we post either on paid course or on on high rise building you will still get those videos that's why it is called premium um members okay or premium videos okay that's fine so then we will now move into the structural analysis of the building now if i go back to plan views now you'll be able to see how the plan views are and all that okay you can see that because of the length of this building and that this building basically is 55 meters long by 20 um two meters width okay now because of that length it has what it has one expansion joint separating the building all right it is nice basically when your buildings is more than 30 meters long or 30 meters width you have to provide expansion joints on that length if it is on the width side that is more than 30 meters you have to provide what expansion joint on the width area to break that that span into two parts okay now currently you can see that we because we have the length to be what you can see how long it is the length to be what 55 meters that i will have to do what provide the joints on the horizontal side to break the 55 meters into two parts okay then had it been it was this place was also more than 30 meters we would have also provided what and an, what another extension joint to break it vertically but because this is what 21 and uh, 22 meters um width so there's no need for that now let's now measure the length and the width of this now if you now measure from this place here which is the this grid line here all the way down to um 
this place here basically i will not add this um area i'll just stop at this place here and stop here okay now if i go and measure um this now and go and look at the length of this let me just go that right now you can see that this is currently 55.1 meters long can you see that 55.1 meters long so th 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 this was the reason why we do what have to provide what provide a joint all right expansion joint now if you're designing for earthquake structures okay and you have uneven um building okay if you have two levels of building all right let me say you have 21 um, meters and then you have 30 meters all right because of that uneven level you have to provide a joint in between then but that joint is not called expansion joint it is simply called what seismic joint all right or you call it earthquake joint there, there is big difference between seismic joint and what expansion joint seismic joint goes all the way down to the foundation and expansion joint basically stops at the upper floor at the so at the superstructure and doesn't go to the substructure well basically this, this is what we basically um train um teach people on the premium membership and all that okay now basically i am on leave yeah i'm on leave i'm on one month um leave and because of that you will be um all our premium members and mentorship or uh, members you will be um enjoying me here on ekidel because i'll be training you guys freely and freely and freely but only for our exclusive premium members and mentorship members and also those people expecting um high-rise building who are going to join the high-rise building membership the first video we are going to post because that's a new membership that just added on ekidel this month the first video we are going to post is a 30 story building and a 21 story building at the same level and it's a real life design that was building with 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 redesigned last year for a client in mexico so with that now i'll be showing you that also but basically in mexico we use american code which is the aci but based on our subscribers and the people that we have um on that our subscribers are majorly africas and 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 people that uses what british and then um euro code so because of that we are going to use euro code for the design of that building okay but it's just very simple just to go and change the load and all that but i'll show you how to work on that and all that so we are currently going to begin on that so if you want to get that you can also join that um new membership so that's fine so right now you can see how this building is very very realistic and all that that's because the client basically wanted to see um all the windows be modeled and all that it was very funny for the client basically because like, like very funny for us because when we gave the client first the first model without windows and all that he said he want to have the windows modeled okay because he want to basically it's like um i don't know if it's a company that's hunts down or that so they they really wanted to see the windows and all that and one thing again that was exciting was the modeling of this um staircase entrance here as you can see that so it was very realistic for the client and not only that this staircase was modeled because the height of this um basement here was high all right so be because of that if this staircase was not designed it might have issues during the construction okay so be, be, uh, so because of that it was modeled and also loaded okay and all that that's fine and also you can also see the matte um foundation here all right and if i walk you through now on the matte foundation um, um layout which is the story zero zero you can see how it has here we have already done the design basically and you can see that it has what it has um extra reinforcement around the column that's how you can see that the column areas are being what shaded can you see that the clone areas has a different um perimeter of what reinforcement to take care of what pointing okay and because basically when you're designing for a matte um foundation you have to adopt some things that you 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 design for a flat slab right and all that so that's that's it for that 
so you can see how it is basically and all that so you can see that the the major columns that is carrying the structure has what extra reinforcement okay that's fine so i'll go back right now on the 3d view and all that so you can see how basically how this building looks like and how realistic it looks like so for the people that are currently on the premium members I would say kudos for you guys because this building is coming live to you and the design is coming live to you um, basically before the end of this month and beginning from this week you will be seeing the part one part two and part three of this building okay so even if the client um, have said that we don't he don't want the um, plan to be given out publicly but we have already um, sent our team to tell the client divisions and all that but basically we received a call from the client last week i think he's trying to consider or uh, um, uh, making this plan available like for to give it out to the public to our subscribers so they can also try their hands on it because we believe here on ekida that for you to have confidence in your design as a younger engineers or even professional engineers you have to use a real life example when you're performing your practice or doing your practice that's why people currently on ekidel mentorship is very nice because we give them real life examples okay and i must tell you some some of our students that just graduated from um um so um from this country zambia from zambia university that joined our ekidel mentorship in less than six months i must tell you that their life has turned because they are already performing structural designs for some clients and they are just six months out from the school all right so in fact it's very nice okay so ekidel mentorship is very, very nice i would advise that if you want to um advance and if you're a, a let me say a student that just finished school or you're about to graduate from school I'll tell you that Ekidel mentorship is the best um, thing that you that, that can happen to you. Okay, I know that. Well, that's fine. But if you cannot afford the Ekidel mentorship, then you can just um, enroll for the uh, join our Ekidel Premium members here on YouTube. But I'll tell you that what you get in mentorship is not what you get here because mentorship is a one-on-one -on -one, um training where you have to ask questions when you're confused all right and in this premium here you can ask questions either through call by calling us or by um having um by let me say um having um a um a link up we have to send you a link and then you can ask your questions but that is limited all right it's not every time you ask question will be there for you okay and all that all right but in mentorship you have the leverage all right you have the time to ask questions and all that as long as you give us the right time you want and all that then we will have to do what meet up with you and you have time for that so that's fine so thank you so much and god bless you now if you have watched this video to the extent our advice you give this video a thumbs up or always like always have the culture of liking our videos here on Ekidel because the more you like the more you we go viral on youtube okay and the more people also see our videos okay so always give this video a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed to our, ch our channel please consider subscribing also also please share this video the links of our videos to your friends and colleagues and, and, and always refer your friends and colleagues to join um to come and also know what's happening here on ekidel okay that's fine so thank you so much and god bless you we we'll love you and then um, bye for now thank you then bye for now okay then If you want to learn structural design, then Ekidel is the best for you. By clicking the link, you are already one step ahead. Don't miss this offer. Enroll now.